Hey there. Welcome to the Mercy College Library's Information Literacy Module Series. In this module, you will learn the basics about acquiring the information literacy skills needed to deal with the research papers and assignments that will be a big part of your academic career here at Mercy, regardless of your major. First off, what is this information literacy business? Glad you asked. Information literacy is the ability to recognize, locate, use, and attribute valid and credible information sources, including books, journals, magazine and newspaper articles, and an ever-growing variety of multimedia sources. In this module, you will learn the importance of understanding your assignment, choosing a topic that fits the assignment, narrowing or expanding your topic, creating a topic sentence, and determining what kind and how much information you will need. Research assignments can vary depending upon your class and your professor. But let's say you've been assigned a four to six page research paper requiring two outside sources using either the APA or MLA citation styles. What does that mean? Well, it's like this. A research paper or project usually means you need to construct an argument or take a position, make a case for your chosen topic. To support your argument, you'll need to find and use outside sources of information. An outside source is any information that is not included in your course text or class readings. When searching for information to support your argument, it is very important that you select what we call authoritative sources sources that have credibility and validity. This is where things can get tricky because there is so much information available to you these days, especially on the internet. It's becoming more and more difficult to determine not only what is credible and what is bogus, but even where to start. Not knowing where to go or what to do can become very frustrating very fast, leading to that dreaded modern malady known as information overload and <laughs> you don't want to go there let your librarians help you but before going any further into this it's very important you understand the assignment and what your professor expects of you if you are uncertain or unclear on any part of what's expected here including how much time you have get with your prof before pushing on okay All right, so we've got this four to six page paper to deal with. Where to even start with this beast? A couple of points to consider when getting started. Always try to choose a topic that interests you. Whenever possible, choose a topic that is related to your major. For the purposes of this example, let's say you have chosen the topic of bullying for your paper. So what are you looking at, butthead? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That guy. Okay, we've got to start. We've also got a big and broad topic. What to do? First, let's break it down. Brainstorm ideas on the topic. Throw some ideas down. Don't worry about whether they're good, bad, right, wrong, useful or not, completely ridiculous. Just throw down some thoughts that come to you when you think of bullying. Maybe bullying in the internet. Read about that a lot. Maybe bullying in social media, Facebook, etc. Wait, there's a word for that, isn't there? Yeah, cyberbullying. Okay, making progress. Maybe something on cyberbullying and social media. Sweet, now what? Remember that in a research paper, you are creating an argument staking out and defending a position on your topic. So what's next? Try taking your idea and putting it into a single topic sentence. For ideas to help you, Google or other search engines can be a great source. Search engines, as we'll talk about more in subsequent modules, have limited use as sources for academic writing like this, but they're a great source of ideas and a good place to start. For example, 
Let's take a quick look around Google for cyberbullying and social media. Well, 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 looky here. Seems cyberbullying in social media has caused suicides. That's some serious stuff. What's being done about this? What can be done? What should be done? Wait. Do you feel a topic sentence coming on here? Maybe something like, what steps are being taken to prevent cyberbullying in social media? Dang, we're good. Okay, here's what we've got covered so far. You understand your research assignment, what's expected of you, and how much time you have to do it. You've kicked around some ideas and boiled it all down to a topic, sentence, or question from which you'll develop an argument that will be your paper. You need to go and get two credible sources you will use to support your argument. In our next module, you'll learn about the open and closed web and how to use library resources to get the best sources for your paper. Oh, and those citation styles your professor is requiring? Don't worry about that just yet. We'll get to that too. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next installment.